Once you've added a Mosaic to Sarah to your Network tab, the Interface tab becomes available. Select the Interface tab, and we have the ability to create our interfaces for our Tesseras. Up at the top, you'll find options for New, Delete, Manage, Properties, and Controllers. We also have some Zoom commands and our Theme Editor. The first thing we're going to want to do is select New. This will start our new interface wizard. The first thing we'll do inside here is give ourselves a name for our controller. We choose the orientation, either Landscape or Portrait, and hit Next. By default, there are three themes that come within Mosaic Designer, Aurora, City, and Light. You can add additional themes, import them, or select one of the existing ones. I'm going to choose Aurora for this demonstration. Once I've selected that and hit Next, I get to set the page properties. This will automatically create the first page in my Tessera. I'll give it a name, select an icon, and I can import an icon if I wish. Hit Next to go to the next page. This allows me to customize the background for this particular page. I have three options. I can select a fixed color. I can import and create a gradient by hitting Edit, hitting New, and creating a gradient. Or I can select an image. I can import from things that are already inside the theme, or I can import whatever image I'd like. I'll use one of these stock images. Hit Next when you're done with this page. The Select a Page Layout screen allows you to choose from commonly used interface pages. Scroll down until you find one that fits your needs or is close to it. Select that particular layout and hit Next. This gives us the option to set up navigation. You can either omit navigation or add a page switcher or buttons. A page switcher will give you an object at the bottom of every page with all of the pages that you can switch back and forth. Buttons will automatically add a next and last button to each of your pages. I'm going to select Page Switcher. I then can choose where I would like my page switcher to be, at the top, bottom, left, or right side of the screen, and give it an alignment, Start, End, Center, or Spread. Start groups all of the icons within the page switcher to the left-hand side. End puts them on the right-hand side. Center puts them in the middle of the screen, and Spread evenly spaces them all apart. I'll select Spread. Since this is my first page, I don't have the option to add to an existing page switcher, so I'm going to create a new one. Finally, come down to the bottom and hit Finish. Once you finish creating your interface, we need to associate it to a controller. There are two ways to do this. One, you can select Controller at the top. Once you select that, you can choose which controller and select it there. The other way is to go to the Network tab. When I go to the Network tab, I have the option to select my controller, come over to Controller Properties, and Screen, and then choose which interface I want. I can select Main here, and it will give me the option to either edit it or create a new one. I also have options for Brightness, Inactivity, and Timeout options here as well. If we go back to the Interface tab for just a second, there are a few properties we can configure for each of the Tesseras such as changing its name, giving it an unlock code, and once we give it a code, the option to give it an unlock function, either to go home or to go back, and a lock timeout. If your Tessera is installed upside down, you can also flip the orientation. 